Hello, it is Monday, August 2nd, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to my New York Times crossword daily solve. I am back, well, not home, but I'm back to my uh, slightly less temporary, but still temporary uh, cat sitting location. Um, back from a very nice, very nice city break to Oxford over the weekend. I had a great time. It's weird going somewhere. That was a strange thing to go somewhere for a couple days. Um, so it's a Monday. So we've got what will most likely be a pretty straightforward puzzle to help us get back into the swing of the week, which is certainly what I am looking forward to um, with respect to puzzles after a couple days of, I would say, not my most impressive solves. So maybe this maybe this will help uh, boost my confidence a little bit. And with that, why not just get going? Are ready to get started? Yes. Okay. Hey, over here. Well, I think yesterday had pst, PSST. This could very much be that. Um, so let's see. A place to hang wind chimes. Well, that could be a porch. So maybe it is. Maybe it is just goes by ship. Say, well, if one goes by ship, one sails. Dang it. Well, this could be shoot a sort of soft oath. FDR. We we can check the crosses here. FDR's successor is Harry S. Truman. That looks right. So pst, surely is correct. Where Honolulu is, Oahu. I think Oahu came up on a recent puzzle as well. Ballerina wear tutu. So we've got some American answers in here, Oahu and HST for Harry S. Truman, but could have uh, could have solved everything with the crosses right here. Service offered by Dropbox. Well, um, I use Dropbox to store the files created for this very video series, and that is cloud storage. Connecting privately via Twitter or Instagram. Well, to connect privately on those services, you DM someone. So this would be DMing, direct messaging. Deutsche Mark replacer. This would have been year, uh, Germany's uh, current currency following the traditional pre-EU or pre-Eurozone German currency. So this is the Euro. Um, just manage with buy. So this is pretty common in crosswords. I mean, it's not, it's a, it's a, I would say a perfectly ordinary standard word, so I don't consider it crossword ease. It's just common in crosswords, eek. Gripe. So with that K there, I'm going to, I'm going to say this is the Yiddish, oops, kvetch. Nice follow-up to yesterday's kvass, another KV word, two, two letters that wouldn't in English ordinarily um, pair, but as loan words, it works. Egg to be fertilized is an ovum. Uh, to be completely stupid is to be moronic. A little bit how I felt occasionally in the last few crosswords. Computer for apple pickers. Well, we see apple is capitalized, so it's a brand name. Um, and it's got that question mark to indicate it's a pun. Honestly, with the capitalized A in apple, I don't even think we need the question mark, but that's a Mac, Macintosh computer. And way in the past would be eons ago. Eons ago. Sometimes it feels as though our present situation began eons ago. Roman artist who said before dying, what an artist the world is losing in me, Nero. That's a good one. Figure seen during Chinese New Year. I would imagine this to be a dragon. New York City's blank, New York's blank city music hall. Um, this is Radio City music hall. A drunkard, I think this came up a few days ago. It looks like a sot to me. Bits of rain or dew or drops. What you have to remember to use an ATM. Uh, well, you could use your PIN number, your personal identification number, number at the ATM machine, the automated teller machine machine. Well, aren't we all? Well, aren't we all? Hoping to kick off a good week with this Monday puzzle. So a tribute poem is an ode, another very common crossword word, although, again, a perfectly standard, ordinary word. And then happening once in a blue moon is rare. Kitchenware brand, um, this looks like OXO, OXO. X, Y, or Z in geometry. Well, if you imagine 
plotting numbers on a graph. These might label the axes, but one of them is an axis. And that guy's is his. What is that guy's deal? What is his deal? Place to play roulette. You would play roulette at a casino. A firefly um, could be colloquially called a lightning bug. Uh, gawker. Um, if you're gawking at someone, you could be ogling them, so you could be an ogler. A megalomaniac has a big ego. Certainly seems that old Nero here had quite the ego. Uh, to manage one's account via the internet. Mm. Now here, this is truly some crossword ease, because eek, common crossword word, but the ordinary normal word, same with ode, but this, I suspect, is e-bank. If you're going to manage your financial accounts on the internet, you're going to e-bank. Something I don't think anyone has ever said. <laughs> I don't think anyone says, I think I'll e-bank today. But that sort of thing comes up in crosswords all the time. It's the prefixing of e before a word to indicate that it's electronic or internet-based in some way. So keep a lookout for those. Train travel is rail. I traveled by rail this weekend. And your outward appearance is your guise. Um, if something is less cooked in the center, well, if it's meat, it could very well be pinker. And smiles are grins. To get the shampoo out, if you want to get the shampoo out of your hair, you must rinse it out and very, very possibly repeat. Uh, if one is free from something, one is rid of it. I would love to be rid of e-clues, electronic clues. Um, a portion as costs. So to meet out costs. Not seeing that immediately. Let's just look at... Um, Let's look at earlier, a little earlier in the puzzle. Grocery conveniences. Um, this could be carts to, in which to keep your groceries. A greeting in Hawaii is aloha, also a farewell in Hawaii. To absorb as gravy is to sop it up. One of the, one of the highest uses of bread is to sop up gravy and other sauces. Maple product is, product is sap, that looks correct. Can't we all just get along? Napkins, tablecloths, etc., are linen. Classic Corvette alternatives. Um, this looks like Thunderbirds to me. Let's say it's that. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Let's go back to where we... A first incomplete clue. A green one is helpful in a garden. A green thumb, in other words, uh, skill at gardening. May honoree. Who is honored in May? So this will be a U.S. holiday. Mom? Could it be Mother's Day? Mom? Country singer Lynn. This looks like Loretta Lynn. Uh, Jean Blanc Picard, Starfleet Commander. So yep, Jean-Luc Picard. That checks out. Self-referential. -ref self well, in the sort of modern idiomatic language, we call this meta. Short for... Um, Metaphysical, I guess. It's probably not that. What is what is meta short for? <laughs> this occurred to me. I don't really, I haven't really thought about it. GPS option. Um, route. It's a route. Is what the GPS will offer you. Night visions are dreams. Sorry and trouble for two. Well, we can see these are the trouble is capitalized and sorry has an exclamation point. So these are proper nouns, these are brand names, these are games. Like an owl in a simile. Um, this is probably wise in the way that owls appear to be wise. Um, so you might call someone, compare someone to an owl to indicate they're wise, even though owls are, as far as I'm aware, extremely dumb in reality. Glass that reflects refracts light is a prism. If one is not bright, like an owl, one is dim. TV, newspapers, etc., are media, uh, and that crosses correctly with a fuel efficiency stat of MPG miles per gallon, as well as the Victorian era. Era, another pretty common crossword word, I would say. Goodbye, my friend. Um, this looks like ta-ta. 
came down as to earth. So a lit. This is a word that is a um, perfectly standard word in English, obviously. I would say it is more commonly used in daily speech in Britain than it is in the United States, but it is also commonly used in crosswords. In other words, to alight. Um, okay. Uh, uh, I'm not seeing that for some reason still. You said that already. Geez. I get it. I get it. E means electronic when prefixed to a noun or verb. Summer in French. So this would be uh, ete. Um, Patriot Nathan. I think this is Nathan Hale. Embarrassingly, I don't really know what Nathan Hale did, but this looks correct. What precedes a storm or a hint to 2029 or 43 across? Uh, well, this is clearly weather something. So let's see. We've got cloud, lightning, and thunder. What precedes a storm? Well, not weather forecast, obviously. That doesn't fit. Why am I not seeing that? I'm sure you are seeing it. I'm going to move on. Sticky stuff is goo. Oh, I see. So to apportion as cost is to prorate. So that's when you um, divide the full cost of something into smaller uh, smaller fees to match a particular sort of abbreviated time span or, or some other reason you would need to uh, charge a fraction of the full cost. Word before school or party. Not sure offhand. Injection that conceals wrinkles. This looks like Botox. Past partners. One's past partners are one's exes. A 10K or, or marathon is a race, a foot race. To blank a phrase, to coin a phrase. Loosen as laces, you're going to untie your laces. And is a huge fan of in modern slang. Um, I think this is going to be stands after the Eminem song. Uh, current modern sort of internet slang for, for fan, for extreme fan. And this is leading to girl, it's at a girl. There's that jingle again. It wasn't playing on my other laptop, but it's playing here. Um, so now we see the theme, this is very clever, is weather front. Weather front, that's very good because it refers both to the um, climatic, uh, I don't know, scientific terminology, but it also refers to the front of each of the three theme answers, cloud storage, lightning bug, and thunderbirds. The weather event is at the front of these answers. That's very clever. Um, this was by, oh, I, I didn't credit Kyra Wilson, the constructor of this puzzle. Um, so a light theme here, a nice, um, nice simple theme that's very cleverly constructed, very consistently applied, um, doesn't get in the way of solving the puzzle at all. It's just a nice fun thing when it comes together. And we had some, some crossword, this is useful um, crossword ease tips in this fairly straightforward puzzle. You know, um, Ode, Eek, we've got this unfortunate E-Bank, um, a lit borderline, whether it's crossword ease. I would say summer in French uh, is actually pretty commonly used in crosswords uh, because it's so useful. It's got two E's in it, and it's a very short word. So I would imagine that constructors find this word very helpful to fill out certain parts of the grid. And then similarly, era another three-letter word flanked by vowels. Uh, comes up all the time. But again, perfectly normal word. You shouldn't need to know crosswords to get it. Um, so a good puzzle, instructive in a few ways, and a really nice theme. Comes together very well. Uh, doesn't inhibit your solving. Just gives you a little bit of appreciation once you've figured it out. So that was indeed a very straightforward return to the Crossword Solving Week. And I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed this puzzle by Kyra Wilson, edited as always by Will Shorts. And I hope you have been enjoying this channel as well. Um, if you do enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Uh, hit the subscribe button underneath this video and you will be made aware in whatever form you choose through notifications or not about each of these videos as they go up in the morning. Um, if you're particularly enjoying this series, why not pass it on to a friend? They might enjoy it as well. I've seen 
a number of people mention in uh, comments, but also in private messages sent through my coffee page that this series has sort of inspired um, a new sort of lightweight ritual, either alone or with a partner or a friend, of uh, solving the crossword together or or um, or solo, and then uh, and then watching the video. And I think that's really great. That made me makes me very happy when I've seen each of those comments. I didn't um, when I started doing this. I think I, I mentioned in the first first video. It was entirely an experiment. I had absolutely no idea if I would do it for more than that one day, or if I did do it for more than that day, whether it was um, what the point of it was, <laughs> and whether anyone would enjoy it or not. So um, even if it is just a few people who have done that, that does make me very happy. And speaking of that coffee page, if you do particularly enjoy this series, you if you would like to be invested in making it a sustainable long-term affair, uh, then tossing me a couple of quid or a few bucks through my coffee page, which is linked underneath the video in the description, would be greatly appreciated. As you can see, that's the <laughs> now that uh, now that a few people have decided to donate some money to help keep this thing going, it puts uh, just enough pressure on me to keep doing it, even while I'm on holiday, as you saw over the weekend. Which is not a complaint. I was happy to do it, um, and I will say my wife was very patient with me. Uh, doing that in the mornings before we headed out for the day. Um, so I, I was glad to be able to do it. I was happy to be able to do it. And I felt a bit more justified in doing it because people are now supporting me financially, which does, um, I guess, psychologically, it does add a level of sort of responsibility to this, to this sort of arbitrary thing that I'm doing. So thank you so much to everyone who has done so. And of course, I understand that not everyone is in a position to follow suit. So I hope you enjoyed today's puzzle. I hope you en you are enjoying this series. I will be back tomorrow for our Tuesday puzzle. Um, most likely another fairly gentle way to help us settle into the work week. With that, I'm off for the day. Have a great Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm.